Therapeutic neuroscience education is helping patients to understand chronic pain from a neurophysiology perspective. Um, teaches patients very basic things about the physiology of our nervous system, how the brain gets involved in producing pain, and helps people to understand exactly what changes the longer we experience pain on a nervous system and cellular level. When, th when therapists or any clinician successfully educate their patients about pain from a neurophysiology perspective, and when patients truly understand it, uh, actually this is measurable. Patients' depression scores go down, their function improves, uh, fear avoidance measures improve, um, they're more willing to engage in therapy, they're more active in their own approach to self-management. So to educate your patients using therapeutic neuroscience education, there are some formal resources available. Um, there are several books, uh, but really you could easily do it yourself. I mean, you're scientific-minded people. Um, you can teach people using metaphors, something that draws a simile between what they're experiencing in their body and some well-known phenomenon in life, such as an alarm clock or a broken uh, car computer, things that just don't work right when we expect them to work a certain way. When you teach somebody the, the neuroscience of pain, um, it actually is helpful to speak in, in very specific terms about how the nervous system operates. So talking about nociception, talking about peripheral sensitization, teaching central sensitization, what is that and how does it manifest itself. It's really important to talk about action potentials at the cellular level so you can understand adaptation on a normal basis, how our nervous system adapts and responds to the stimuli in the environment. And then also how cognitions and emotions, memories or thoughts play into effects through our nervous system. Historically, working in an interdisciplinary team setting is the most effective approach to pain management and being successful with your patients, specifically using therapeutic neuroscience education. When you all speak the same language, when you all use similar terminology and explain the patient's problem from the same perspective, now you have multiple people saying the same thing, the validation is stronger, um, patient buy-in is much stronger, and we really see that people engage in a different way, in a more meaningful way in any therapeutic approach that the team then suggests. Yeah, I think one, one really important component that understanding the neuroscience of pain um, really should be driven home to clinicians is that when we teach people about pain, it's so important that we start talking about pain from a nervous system standpoint, that really the role of the nervous system, the role of the brain in pain production is the more important target. These are the more important targets rather than peripheral tissues, which is primarily and historically been the approach for treating pain conditions.